Today was the 24th annual duck stamp contest for the state of Louisiana. Um, every year we have a contest where a design is selected that will grace the, the following year's Louisiana waterfowl conservation stamp, better known as the duck stamp. The primary product of this contest is a design to be used on a duck stamp. That's a fairly small piece of artwork. What the judges are looking for, primarily they're looking for the form of the waterfowl species. It has to be anatomically correct. It needs to be set in habitat that's appropriate. And it needs to be in a posture, uh, in a behavior that is characteristic of that particular species. It has to be artistically pleasing. It needs to show skill in artistic methods. That, that's the artist's forte, and that's the reason that we have judges with uh, accepted skills in, in that particular field. And then they have to consider if it will reduce well to make a, a good quality, aesthetically pleasing, and, and marketable stamp for the collector's market. Those are the primary judging criteria. We display all of the entries across the front of the stage. They're displayed in the order they were received. And then we seat the panel of judges. And each painting is then presented to the judges and we ask them for a score. And in the first round of judging, all of the paintings receive a score from one to 10 from all five of the judges. Once all paintings are presented to the judges, we have scorekeepers that tally each of the judges' scores. Those scores are added up, and the three with the highest score move on to the second round of judging. We then take a break. The judges confer. They revisit those three paintings that are in the, the second round. Um, they are reseated, and then we have a second round of voting. The second round of voting is simply their opinion of how the painting should finish first, second, or third. Again, the scores are tallied from each judge and that painting with the lowest score will be declared the winner. The winning entry from this year was a, a pair of American widgeon sitting at the edge of a marsh. And what, what I believe set it apart from the rest of the entries, besides its painstaking realism, um, that, I say that every year because that's really what, that's really what the contest comes down to is, is who can represent these birds in a, in a very realistic and artistically striking fashion. And, and when you look at the winning painting, it's, it's very bright. There's strong contrasts. American Widgeon have strong contrast in their body colors with the white on the shoulders, the white on the head, but then the, the darkness below. And so I think that is what, is what set the winning artists apart. The Duck Stamp Program was started in 1989 for the primary purpose of raising revenue to be used for the conservation of wetlands in the state of Louisiana. Um, Louisiana is probably the most important wintering state for, wet, for wetland birds in the Mississippi Flyway and arguably in the United States. We, we winter an incredible number of ducks, geese, shorebirds, wading birds, seabirds that come through and use our wetland habitats. And so the, the duck stamp program was initiated to raise money to fund the activities that allow us to create, enhance, and protect that wetland habitat for the birds that use them. 